All right, this video is going to be a little bit different. Whatever happened to the game of bar billiards? You used to see it in a lot of the pubs, and it's a really good game. One of the big advantages of bar billiards is that you don't need that much space because you only play from this end. So that end, that side actually could be against the wall, or at least far enough away so that you could get your cue and take a shot. Because all shots are taken from here, and you start from this sort of D here. And the game is played with seven white balls and one red ball. And to start off, we put the red ball on this spot here, and the white ball anywhere you want in this little D here. The rules on the table there are three pins or mushrooms, whatever you want to call them, a black one and two white ones. When you're playing, if you knock the black one over, you lose your entire score. If you knock one of the white ones over, you lose the score that you made in that break. A break ends when you either don't make any score at all, off that shot, or if you knock one of the pins over, or if your ball comes back behind this line here, if it comes to the rear of that, that's the end of the break, and you it's a foul shot and you've lost your score for that break. To score, you need to get balls to go down one of the pockets here, there across there, and one down the back. And the value of the score is determined by those numbers up there. So if it goes down this hole, that's 10. If it goes down this hole, that's 100. If it goes down this hole, that's 200. But if it's a red ball that goes down, you double the score. And the scoreboard is that abacus up there. So a classic opening shot is this. I just missed it. The white ball should have gone down there. And that would have scored me 100 for this hole because the red one went down, 50 for that hole for the white one, so 150. I can then repeat that same shot another twice because you're only allowed to do, do the same shot three times in a row and then you have to do a different shot. And for my next shot I'm going to try that again and again I just missed it. Now because the red one went down I scored another 100 so that makes me 250. Now I have to play the red ball because the red ball went down and I can go now for that white one and it missed completely everything so I didn't make a foul stroke therefore I had scored 250 on that break. The next person takes another white ball from here and plays on. Now the red one obviously scores double, so you want that in play, and it's against the white pin almost. So it's a bit of a dodgy shot. But we'll see what we can do with it. And that was a good shot because the red one went down the 100 hole, therefore I scored 200 for that. So that's a good shot. And the white one went down the 30 hole, so I got another 30 for that, that's 230. Now the red one is down, I must play the red. And I've scored another 30. And so the game goes on 
until you've hit the target that you've set to yourselves. We normally play here up to 1,000 because uh, I don't play often enough and I'm not that good. This table is uh, well over 100 years old. Uh, the base here is one inch thick solid slate. Uh, it was refurbed, the table was refurbed by a company in Ascot and I've had it for just over, just about 30 years. And it's uh, a lovely game to have in the house when you have guests. Uh, I used to play a lot, but these days I'm afraid I don't get to do that. I thoroughly enjoy it. And for those who may be interested, the table is just fractionally over three feet wide and six feet long. Plus there's an additional ball catching box there, which is about another seven or eight inches. But uh, normally you would put money in here and the timer would set off and a bar would drop after a certain period of time to stop the balls from coming through. Um, we haven't got the timer on so we play up to a particular score on that board there. Now because well, I don't, don't really know why this game lost out to uh, pool because pool took over but the one big difference is uh, when you play pool you can slap the balls around quite hard on this table and this game you have to be far more gentle and far more accurate because the holes that you have to put the balls down are nothing like as wide or as big as the pockets on the pool table. So uh, although you can score by pure luck on this table, uh, you could also knock the pins down by pure bad luck and lose your score. But it would be lovely to see this game come back and uh, put a bit of refinement into playing billiards. Hope you uh, found that a little bit interesting. Bye.